Taking down trees that Tom showed us on the north side. Shannon Halligan's there in Andersonville to show you the damage. Shannon. Yeah, it is uh, pretty windy out here. As Tom was mentioning, uh, this is the area of Andersonville. So uh, Argyle and, and Glenwood, I'll step out of the way and you can see this massive tree uh, that snapped in half coming down onto the middle of the street, uh, damaging at least six cars here. As you can see, you already have uh, streets and sanitation as well as police on the scene here working to get an assessment as well as uh, try and get ahead of some of this damage because they are expecting to see more of this. Um, uh, once again, this uh, tree came down, causing other branches to come down and damaging several cars in the middle of the roadways. Also, a heads up for people in Downers Grove. Uh, 63rd Street is closed in both directions uh, between Woodward and Stonewall due to downed power lines. And once again, uh, we are expecting to see potentially more downed power lines in our area because of these winds. And as a reminder, stay at least 35 feet away from there. Uh, in Kansas, as we mentioned, you saw those high winds from this storm more than 130,000 people are without power there tonight. We'll of course continue to keep you updated on this damage from these storms. That's the latest though live in Andersonville. Shannon Halligan back to you. That was a huge tree there Shannon. Thanks for that live look there. Well still ahead tonight the Blackhawks host